it's interesting to see what I can do for someone who's not really as, as art based. I struggled in studio art, I can't really draw, I can't really, but graphic design allowed me to express my artistic ability. We have a really collaborative classroom, even virtually. We have some people in classroom sometimes, and we get to hear them, but a lot of the class is online. So we do presentations and we show each other our art and Mr. McMichael gives us feedback on each piece and he gives us ideas and talks about it and he can see our screen. So it's almost like just as good as when we were in person. We use Padlet as a way to share your artwork or what you did that day with your classmates. We were able to comment on other people's posts to give them some suggestions about the artwork that they're working on or maybe an artwork for their future sustained investigation. And we also use Jamboard, which is another remote platform where you can sort of collect a bunch of inspirational images and see them all laid out in one space, which is really helpful. My sustained investigation is mainly focused on sports, myself playing sports, my friends playing sports. That's a huge part of my life, so it's really easy for me to be passionate about sports and art, and when I combine those two, that's what gets me motivated. I really like playing with colors and seeing textures and patterns because I'm into fashion as well. So I've played a lot with different clothing fabrics this year and putting them into my images and overlaying them. I like to put sort of this like haze over my artwork. Sort of just makes it more dreamy and magical and I work a lot with nature. Just like this light maybe filter, I like using filters to just sort of just change what you're looking at, make it less normal and more interesting. It's amazing. It's my favorite class in high school, easily.